What is that? Huh. Oh, we're on a ship! Uh, I'll listen to that windy night and... I've just realized some lights glowing from the bottom. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary's Mod. And today, the map we're gonna be exploring is GM Conduit. Now, according to the workshop page, the story of this map is that we are on our way to investigate a facility that was built at the bottom of this lake after our energy signatures were detected and the facility was constructed to scavenge some ruins that were discovered at the source. Now I guess we've lost contact and we've got to go see what happened to them. But uh, before we decide to pursue this, let's just take this in for a moment. Lights glowing up, illuminating vague structures in the depths, a red buoy, the only light above water, and just the sound of the wind and the moonlight on our vessel. Well, I'm not looking forward to this because VR controls aren't the best for swimming, but yep. Oh no, I've completely lost sight of where it was. The second we jump into the water, I suddenly can't see anything until it comes into view all at once. Oh, there's an elevator of some kind. I mean, I guess this probably goes down to the... to the facility itself? Look at this. This doesn't look like a lake. This looks more like the ocean. But let's see if this can take us down there. Ooh. Of course, being underwater, that tends to glue us to the ceiling, but I suppose that's okay. Oh, how deep can this be? They built a whole rail system down here for... Look at this. In order to do all this, whatever was down here, or at least whatever they thought was down here, must have been real important. By the way, just uh, imagine I'm wearing a dive suit, because doing the gloves in this video, uh, imagine we'd never get anywhere. Oh, look. They've got the light poles out to guide us around. Oh, no. I'm having major flashbacks to GM Abyssal Plain. But thankfully, this whole area seems to be a lot more self-contained. And I'm not going to make a joke about the fact that I said that while looking at a container. Although, I suppose I just did. No? Hmm. Do we need to find another way in? It's all built into the side of the rock. Okay, we have found the facility, but nobody's answering the door, so I think it's time to regroup and reconsider our moves. I, I can already tell I'm going to like this map from the fact that you're making even getting into the facility part of the adventure. Alright, so we swam towards this stuff, I think. We can see more down there. We can actually see quite a lot. I think we need to go over that way towards the other light. Looks like something quite a bit larger. Whoa. Oh, is this... This is a, a huge crane! Very sorry to anyone with submechanophobia. Look at this. That's the creepy thing about huge man-made objects underwater, or the huge anything for that matter. Sorry, my neck's getting in the way, but it's so big you can't even see the whole thing at once. But I don't know if this actually helps us at all. No operator. Operator. 
And for all I know, this drop-off just leads us down to where we just were, but... Well, I guess drop-off is all we have to do at the moment. Yep. Let's try and stay close to the wall so we at least get some idea for depth. And again, that's easier said than done by far. Let's try and pick up the pace a little bit by kicking our little feet faster. No, I think it's the same place. So, how, how do we get in then? Actually, I suppose that we're going to take a page from GM Vacant Industry. This looks like it's maybe breakable, yes. Okay, there we go. Oh, I see. We need to probably... Yeah, we need to flood that chamber so that the airlock can work. Or maybe we're just manually overriding the doors. Okay, mission is back on. I think? Uh, making ingress. <laughs> Just imagine I'm talking into a hand-mounted, uh, communication device. Just like all the other movies where people do exactly this and die. That looks like blood. Just notice the blood stain. And if I didn't notice it before, I was sure to now. Uh. Okay, a burnt corpse is one thing, but the movement sort of caught me off guard a little bit. So, you know, this just feels like one of those times. Just feel it in my bones. Well, at this point, I don't have much hope for making contact with any survivors. Uh, is there anything... God, was this done here? Is that just what seeped through the cracks? Uh, is there any way we can open this door? Not that I can see. I guess we're taking the elevator down. Okay, I'm hearing a slight irregularity in the ventilation system. But down here appears to be more or less intact. We're crawling into the vents. Great. Do you know how hard it is to squeeze through here in this dive suit? Well, there's no coming back from this. This is the point of no return, officially. Let's just hope they send a rescue team for the rescue team. Okay, so it looks like the crew tried to seal this place off. I mean, it's boarded from the outside of this room. Another open vent right here. Welded, actually, not just boarded, so we're not getting through this way. And yeah, I am seeing further bloodstains. And the accompanying body. All these corpses look either badly decomposed or badly burned, but the facility itself looks to be in good shape, which is kind of interesting. 
Only one thing I can do then. Yep. Come on now. The first intact corpse I've discovered. Yep. All right, well, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to jump our way out of here. Actually, that mark looks like you were dropped down here. Was somebody trying to dispose of you? I mean, they didn't try to dispose of the others. Yep. Yep. And, yep. Well, we're in. Uh, is this computer supposed to be locked down? Either way, it's not on now. Hello. Uh, I'm seeing a weird light anomaly over here by the reception desk. I kind of get the impression that maybe I shouldn't try to touch it, but it seems to be holding still for now. Uh, seems the side hallway has been completely sealed. So it's not in there that they tried to hide out. They tried to turn this whole, like, cafeteria area into a fortress. So whatever happened here, they actually had time to defend, prepare. It didn't just sweep through here all at once. Warning, exotic energy do not enter if alarm sounds. Well, I think we're past that point, and the alarm is not sounding. I just saw you there. Actually, you seem to be hovering over this corpse. Uh, let's see if we can gain access to anything up here. Some kind of airlock? but I can't interact with the panel. Now this looks more like something I can mess with. <sighs> Crowbar. Whoa. They've actually got a system of breezeways running through like flooded chambers. This is so cool. Okay, I'm honestly not sure if that was bodies moving because of the quake or if something did actually just skitter across the hall in the dark over there. And I'm seeing a valve on that pipe. Maybe we'll have to make a note of that. Uh, the door to this side of the facility is closed due to partial flooding. Hmm, you had a gun. So whatever was happening here, it was something you thought you could shoot. Look, bullet holes. It, it looks like you were shooting at... The burn corpse here. But nothing's happened to you. I mean, did it come at you in this state? Alright, well, let's stop looking at that for a while. Yeah, we're, the deeper we go, the more and more bodies we're finding. Some inexplicable bloodstains without anything attached. Yeah, we'll definitely have to start untangling all of this. Uh, open up. Not gonna happen.
I think there's something really big either moving outside of the facility or within it. And I'm honestly not sure which is worse. Nothing. Okay, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we try to shoot this thing open. That has not succeeded. There we go. Yield crowbar comes in clutch again. Oh, come on. I don't want to look away from this. But maybe that's as good as we're going to get. Oh, God. Pitch black so we can't have our gun at the ready. And if ever there was a place where we'd want our gun at the ready... Uh, this would be it, look. I'm tempted to step inside and look up, but do I really want to? Answer, I have to, it's my job. So it's like you were dragged through the vents and then dumped down here. Well, part of you. Honestly, for as freaked out as I am, this map is scratching the itch in that part of my brain that just loves the first act of the first Resident Evil movie. I mean, coming in to investigate the abandoned facility, but having no idea what's going on, and getting all kinds of hints, but very little active engagement, which the longer we go without any active engagement, the more freaked out I get. Can we maybe mess with that? I don't know. There's a very big vent above us there. Oh, something... Something major happened here. No bodies left behind, but plenty of blood. And this is a fresh fire. Okay, so it's pretty clear that we need to restore power on that other generator then, right? Uh, so let's close out of this. I don't even want to speculate on what that blue glow is coming from beyond those shutters, but I'm going to assume that they're closed for a reason. All right, so one of you goes to here. I guess not yet. You go to here, and then you in here. There we go. And now we can do whatever's got to be done right here, right? Nope! No, 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 Okay, that triggered some kind of lockdown. They've given us so many doors and windows to worry about. Looks like that thing is trying to shield itself now. Okay, I'll take that as progress. Hmm, there's something on the ground here. Some kind of device. Maybe we can use that for something? This was all just a storeroom. Or maybe we can open that hatch in the ground, I don't know. Ah, yep! That's what this was. Meaning we get to jump down even deeper, adding yet another level that we cannot climb ourselves back from. Well, adventure ho. At least the vents are much more spacious than other places. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess this means we did a little better than you did then, huh? Come on, let me out. You gotta look on the bright side of things in this line of work. And when you spend your whole day stepping over corpses, you gotta imagine that somebody's gonna be stepping over yours in the near future. 
So it's good to take things relatively. Yes. What's worse, the loud grinding sounds or the slow roll off of everything settling? Guess we don't have long to find out. Oh, it's one of the poles. For a second I thought there was somebody standing there. Well, I guess we'll get back to where we came from and find out what that did. What is the point of these chambers? I can't tell if this is at the bottom of the lake or... Yeah, no, actually it looks like we're in a cave. This whole thing is, like, so cool. I've always wanted to have an underwater base where nobody can bother me, where I can do all kinds of super secret spy stuff. But I guess when something like this happens, you kind of take the bad with the good. There's a broken window up there. Something could drop down from there, and there'd be not much we could do about it. Well, one of those lights is on, so this is our ultimate goal. And now we can see inside some kind of control room. Man, this map is so cool. I, I love it when maps like this make you feel like you're walking through the old horror story. Everything feels like you can almost trace where it went wrong, what people tried to do. And now it's like I'm the sequel. Oh God, I'm the sequel. Feels real foolish. It's like, you know in Aliens when the Marines come in and you're thinking like, oh yeah, we're finally going to get some payback after all the uh, terror of the previous movie, but they're all like really dismissive of Ripley and it just all goes wrong from there. Right now, I feel like I'm the Marines. And you know, that's really not the confidence booster that one would think it would be when using that label. <laughs> Did you get stuck behind the barricade and just tried to chill for a while? And it looks like it was a while. Alright, let's break in, come on. Well, let's hope the dive suit also has augmentations for long falls. Yeah! <sighs> Sounded like it did not. Oh, well, this is gonna be fun. Ah, uh, this is exactly what I was afraid of earlier. Well, let's climb to our feet and see what's to be done. You know, uh, maybe it would have been better. Maybe it would have been better to restore power second. So the problem I'm now faced with is that platforming is pretty well impossible in VR. It doesn't help that I got like a weird physics base that I'm standing on. Uh, and if I die, I have to go all the way back to the beginning. So yep. Uh, thank you. Hopefully this segment will be short lived. Crouch down. Yeah, boop. And now we gotta power down to power up. Oh, wait.
Oh. Okay, so now we've got access to you. At least somewhat safe. I can see the... Oh, I thought that was a charred body at the bottom. Well, let's make a note. There's a battery over there. We may need that later. And now we've upgraded from ankle deep water to waist deep. It's like being on an overturned ship that's fallen to the bottom of the ocean. I'm imagining we're gonna have to break this. Perhaps, maybe. No. You're not gonna open because there's no power. Really feels like I shouldn't be messing with any of this stuff. Like that would be a bad idea. Okay, so we've got to replace you. But how does that solve the problem of the water will become electrified? And this maybe you don't restore power to here? I really do think that this is supposed to break. Come on. There we go. It is now totally dark in here except for the emergency lights. Uh, let's grab you. Make her way out via those emergency lights. Uh, You know, in a highly immersive map like this, I really do feel like the pressure, the resistance of wading through all this. And it makes it all so much better. This says gate override. Okay, so close you. There we are. And what'll that do for us? I really don't like being in this dark, flooded chamber, and we can just see the reflections of the, of the lights beneath us. Maybe flashlight's not such a bad thing right now. You won't open. Can't even mess with you. Alright, what did all that do? It, it, this map understands tension. It understands that, like, when you're in this rusting metal death trap surrounded by, like, tons and tons of pressure, that having you wait around and just listen to the bass grinding around you is so much worse than anything that could possibly come running at you out of the dark. Uh, we're in deeper water now. We're gonna have to swim through this vent. I was kind of hoping that that would be a pump that could maybe drain this area, but it was not to be. <sighs> okay, how are we going to negotiate this? Yep, come on. Come on. <sighs> you know, the farther I get, the more I have to wonder how it is I'm actually getting back. No. So, how's this work? Is this going to be one of those times where I stand in the glass room and hit the button and then the door over there opens and something comes charging in? No. Well, there's still time. sworn I just heard like a whisper but then again the more time I spend in these games the more I think my room is just haunted because I can never hear it on the edit uh, some fires burning back there and you're broken all right back to our regularly scheduled danger preparedness
Now, I don't know what these various error codes mean, but usually blinking like that means we're screwed. I mean, really, at what point do I just report my findings back as this place is a total write-off? Especially with this kind of structural damage, what is going on over there? And what is going on down there? Okay, I, I'm going to have to find a way to safely traverse this. Not yet. Oh, these are the living quarters. We've actually found them. Huh, and, you know, despite the... Despite, I'm sure, the great expense of constructing this place, they actually live pretty well from the look of it. We're going to open each of these up because they might contain something useful. Might being the key word. What awaits us behind the door with the shuttered glass? I really expected there to be something hiding under the bed, to be honest. But no survivors here either. And at this point, I'm really not holding my breath to find any. No pun intended. Alright, so how are we going to go about this? I'm thinking I take a running jump for that side there. Yep. That was so creepy for a second. You're just sitting up in the chair. All burned. Now what is going on out there? It's another flooded chamber. I wonder what this is for. Man, this is so much bigger than what I was expecting from just the surface. And I bet if we break those boxes, uh, we can probably make our way between those vending machines. But before we do that, uh, more sleeping quarters to explore, and we do have to check all of them. Just a glance is enough. Oh, it looks like these people tried to barricade themselves inside. And once again, the most disturbing stories of all are the ones that seem to have held out for a while. Man, how long did we wait before coming down here? I mean, the story on the workshop page would lead me to believe that they never actually did get any kind of message out. That we only came when we thought it was weird that they hadn't called in a while. Whoa. So... This whole block was just a massacre. And there's something really weird going on with you. So, whatever happened here, did it maybe originate in this hall? Uh, catch everyone off guard? There's something about, like, bones sticking out of shard meat that just makes it feel so much more visceral. I was not ready for that. I thought I'd gotten so used to the Half-Life 2 course models! I hear something. I heard, like, breathing from behind me for a second. Hang on. Uh, can we open this? There's a weird thing on the ground here. We can pick you up. But what are you? What do you do? You're like some kind of just 
<laughs> miscellaneous object, really. There is a door behind that vending machine. Okay, well, where do we bring this, then? The only thing I can think to do next is to try and see where all this leads. And the best way I can think to do that is to just, uh, we'll see what this does. Nothing, really. Huh, color me surprised. Yep, there we go. That's what I thought. Wait, there's a whole tunnel down here with a, a crushed car. You guys were driving cars down here? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to break all of this so that we at least have the ability to come back. And this thing, I think, is coming with us. Ugh. Okay, so the water itself is not all that deep. That's the good news. It can make it seem much deeper, the reflections in the pool below. We must be running through the middle of that whole structure we saw outside the window. Maintenance zone two, before we were in three and four. You know, doing the same thing but narrower does not inspire further confidence, game. And then there was silence. It's like they were conversing their ghostly conversations and then they all ran the second I showed up. Like I was intruding on something I wasn't meant to see. Okay. Um, so here's what's going to happen is you're going to go... I feel like as soon as I start all this up, this water is going to become electrified. I'm thinking... Yep. And then we'll jump up on here. You're gonna go beneath. There you go. And then you're gonna come down. Okay, I just wanted to be prepared. But that seems to have set off an alarm somewhere. Come on now. Yep. You know, I am so amazed that uh, holding this object hasn't caused more problems for us on the way here. All right, and something is going on here. It seems like you all connect to all of you. Same over here. So is that what this is going to be? We've got to hit each of these things. Okay, well, you wait down here. And then... How are we going to do this? You can't be interacted with. But maybe we can do something... Yes, from the back. There we go. So you're broken. Maybe we'll have to repair that. Or maybe it's our green light, our way across. Uh, you now? All right. So what has that done for us? Uh, you've got a computer that we can use. And maybe that will lower this pillar. I mean, the other one's still kind of attached. Maybe we can start yours as well. I don't know what just happened to me there. You're starting to go down. Uh, 
And I'm really guessing that that's going to be, like, bad things for the ground below, right? Like, we're not going to be able to walk through this again. Never mind, there we are. But what does... One do about you? I don't think I have any way of fixing that, so all, all I can think is to go back and hope that this restored power in some way. Oh, let's go, go, go. And you know, maybe it has, because this lighting seems at least a bit more stable on the way in. Yes, that did work, okay. Uh, so it looks like we have a path back. We are going to figure out what we do with whatever you are. Oh no, this is not the cafeteria at all. It wouldn't be that easy. I can hear fires burning behind the wall. This is one of those only times where flooding during a fire wouldn't be an appropriate uh, response. Or at least not something I would like to hear about. Well, this place is a bit dimly lit, but at least refreshingly intact. Oh, this is that window beside the storage room. We've come full circle. How much do we trust elevators? Suppose we don't have a choice. Man, why have I taken it upon myself to do all this? Carrying around this artifact? You know, you would think that my mission would be simply to observe and report. And boy, do I have a lot to report. Oh no. Yeah, this is where we came in. Okay, I was worried for a second. Come on, out of my way. And now we can see what lies beyond. Answer a whole lot more death. These aren't like the other corpses. Completely stripped of flesh, but totally intact. And this whole room is a minefield of those light anomalies. What did that what did that warning on the outside say though? It said, yeah, warning, exotic energy. The alarm's not sounding, but it sounds like they were aware of all this. Of course we've got a leak, given there's one by the front desk. I'm gonna try not touching these. I think that might be a good plan for my long-term health, as well as short-term. There's one over there. I mean, the ones outside didn't do anything to me, but yeah, look. The workshop page did say that uh, they were here excavating ruins. That's where they found these artifacts. Guess we don't have a choice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on now. Wear your respirator. Well, how does my own closed oxygen supply sound? Are we good? Oh, hello. We've opened the whole thing now. Yep, 
there's no... There's no doubting it now. This is what they found. How old must all this be to be under a lake this deep? Uh... Elevator, if you want to get a move on. Those sound like some really angry sounds coming from whatever is going on in the middle there. Uh. More corpses, so... What happened with this? Like, I'm starting to wonder if maybe, like, part of the crew weren't used to attack the others? Clearly something went on in this lab here. Maybe they did the wrong combination of something to earn the wrath of whatever's giving off all this energy. But then there's what happened in the crew quarters. There's this thing being there. Then again, maybe that's just where it began its rampage. Maybe this was something that they brought out that they shouldn't have. Do you want it back? Is that what this is? Well, we still have this thing. Does that mean we can keep it? I'm not gonna tempt fate. But approaching you did something. Oh, look, they'd even fenced off like more tunnels. This place was actually really extensive. And once again, they built this place because all of a sudden, this place started giving off like huge amounts of energy. So that kind of makes me wonder, like, did we disturb something, or did it just lure in its prey, and now it's been reset, and it's going to wait for next time? Who did build all this originally, and what happened to them? whole base is quiet now. Quiet and not a single one of those wisps in sight. Actually, it's weird. It's only now that this place feels so still and silent that I realize it wasn't always. That from the moment I walked in here, I could feel like some kind of malevolence. It's so weird to only recognize something was there only once it's gone, but that's the sensation I'm getting right now. And so, with all that behind us, and no idea what I'm going to put in my report, that was GM Conduit. And that was awesome. I loved that whole experience. I was honestly kind of dreading the moment when it was going to flood the room with fast zombies like a lot of other maps that do similar things. But I really feel like this is all about the mystery. I think the map creator understands that the more they immerse you in the atmosphere and the less they tell you, the better. We only have the backstory that we're given on the workshop page, which is very minimal, really only explaining why this facility is here in the first place and what we observe for ourselves. And that's that there's an ancient city at the bottom of this lake. Some real freaky stuff is going on since we started messing with it. And some even freakier stuff happened to the crew. I really like how this map really leans into the environmental storytelling. It allows you to speculate. Everything isn't in your face. But there's enough here that you can sort of piece together some of what happened here. And I think it was really interesting to comb through it and get bits and pieces that both answer and raise even more questions as you go. The map design itself is incredible, with so many like partially flooded areas at varying levels, all these like barricades and rusted metal. And each area looks distinct, while still feeling like it belongs in a facility at the bottom of the ocean. 
So many maps like this fall into the trap of it just being cramped metal corridors, and yeah, there were plenty of those, but there's also rooms like this. It's doing interesting things with the lighting, where you have different contrasting colors in the environment, and it's just such a good mix of stuff like this and areas that are totally dark, where we have to rely on our own lights. And as far as structure, I just think it's so cool how it slowly reels you into it. I mean, it starts with you all the way up on the surface on your boat, and then you have to dive down here to where the lights are, or possibly following the buoy, and then you take the elevator down and realize, oh god, this is so much deeper than I thought, and then you spend a while just trying to get in the front door. I think it would have been much less atmospheric and much less immersive if it had just started us off in that front room. We had to work to even get inside, which really emphasizes just how isolated all this is. And it makes you feel just the crushing depth around you, and it pervades the entire map. And I think the scripted segments also play into that. There's so much just messing around with various systems as the puzzles, and you're never really sure if any given thing was really the right thing to do. And so instead of just opening a door immediately after you plug something in or turn a valve, you get to just sit there for a while in the flickering lights and floodwaters, listening to the groaning of the place around you, wondering if that worked or if you just really screwed up. It really makes the most of the setting, and that's what I like so much about it. And in all those moments, and just in general really, the sound design is just incredible. I believe the creator said that they borrowed from games like Soma, which of course is a really good source for something like this. I feel like this map is really crying out for a noclip run, so let's check it out. <laughs> Look at all this, this is so cool. Oh, that must be the big cave chamber that the breezeways were running through. Oh, look at all this. <laughs> this is a side of the facility we never even got into. I, I like that this map had, like, the foresight to expand its world by implying other areas that we couldn't access. Alright. And here's all this stuff over here. And there, I think, is... Is this where we climbed in? Oh, wait, no. Wait, we never saw this, did we? Oh, we could have opened this. Oh, I missed a whole Easter egg room. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, so if we were to go through here... We can see that uh, somebody made a great effort to either get in here or make sure no one could ever get in here. Or probably to make sure it couldn't be opened from the other side, maybe. And then in the vents, there's a ladder. Only time there's a, an actually accessible vent. Come on, nope! Open up. Open up, open up, yeah. Hey there. What were you trying to do? Were you just trying to hide in there and it wasn't enough? Or is this maybe some kind of like escape pod that can take you to the surface? Just like I was saying, lots of environmental storytelling. I can imagine, without it throwing it in my face, hello gnome, that this guy ran in here, closed the door behind him, as this place was falling, this guy came over, was like banging on the glass, come on, let me in, let me out. This guy's like, sorry man, nothing I can do. Uh, but I guess there was really nothing he could do. Oh, and over here... Yes, I think over here is the entrance, so I guess that elevator was actually a teleport. And we are gonna have one heck of a story to tell. I think it's going to require some real wordsmithing to phrase this in such a way where I convey how crazy this was without them wanting to go back down there, but if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. 
If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.